Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and welcome back to my Medieval Kingdoms 1212 AD campaign as the Kingdom of Georgia. I do apologize that it has been so many months since the last upload. I have just become extremely busy in my personal life, and I've had to put YouTube completely on the back burner for the time being. But I am happy to say that I feel like I'm at the point now where I will be able to start uploading more regular content. I am sorry to those of you who were frustrated with my extended absence, but it just needed to be done. And a big thank you to all of those who were supportive and encouraging throughout my time away. I really appreciate you all. Now, let's go ahead and dive on into this campaign, and it's been such a long time since I've actually played this campaign, and in fact played Total War in general. I think I might have played two or three matches maybe in the last four to five months, so it is going to take a bit of kind of getting back into the swing of things. Um, I did take a look at my previous episode just to see where we left off with our battle against the Bulgarians, and it looks like they are on the back foot, and we will be fighting this battle because that will see off the Bulgarians, and it will uh, be a good way to start off the series once again. Now we look over here at, uh, I believe we took Targo Viste. I don't know if that was owned by the Bulgarians or not, but Tarnovo was. Uh, we do actually have some plague here, though, uh, some smallpox pestilence that we're going to have to deal with. Um, I am getting the Orthodox Skete in here, which will give us uh, plus two to sanitation. But I'm just wondering if the fountain would be the better choice. I was looking at our income, and our income is not great for the time being. And uh, these have bountiful harvests, as you can see. The fertility here is fantastic, both at Targo Viste and at Tarnovo. So I'm not sure if I'm kind of wasting my opportunity here instead of getting the skettes to go after the icon makers and go after the iconography studio and eventually the master studio because all it costs is food production which we will have a bountiful amount of because these wheat fields are producing quite a bit of food for us as you can see it looks like we're getting 125 total uh, so we will look to upgrade that. But, I mean, we're sitting on a surplus of only 25 here, which isn't great. So if we change this to the Icon Maker, we'd only have a surplus of 5. Uh, over here, though, we have a 95. So I'm wondering if getting that Icon Maker wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Because uh, that's going to give us 200 wealth from culture as well. Currently, this isn't giving us any wealth. In fact, it's costing us money. So if we upgraded that, we may just be able to put ourselves into the positives. I'm also hoping once I take Scopey, uh, uh, the hot springs will be good for sanitation, but that's going to cost us some problems. That will definitely help, though. That gold mine, that is definitely going to give us a bit of extra income. The mosaic... Uh, artisan as well, but that's quite a bit of squalor. And then the fairground, actually. Yeah, this is going to be a good money maker for us, so I'm so glad we were able to get there in time. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get uh, Shreddits, but uh, the Latin Empire is on my list of people I do want to take out before the end of this campaign. And I believe that our king has finally, this is the first time that he stepped foot back in uh, the kingdom of Georgia, or the remnants of the once proud kingdom of Georgia. If we take a look at the diplomacy here, we do have one vassal remaining, and we are actually working on... Uh, I believe we're working on... Where is it? Yeah, we are working on annexing them, which is going to be great for us. It's going to take eight turns, I believe, but that's going to give us three territories, and I believe that's the three territories that we originally had. Uh, before the Mongols stormed on in. Uh, actually, we I think we had Ardabil as well. I had to sell that to the Cumans. But uh, Batu is the only uh, settlement that the Mongols hold uh, at this point. If we take a look at the diplomacy for the uh, Yulis of Jochi. Yeah, 67 strength ranks, so we're way stronger than them. And they only have the one settlement to their name. So we will be able to destroy the Mongols soon, but I'm going to have to kind of build a bit of a half stack uh, in Georgia to take that back. Uh, we have to be very wary of the Yulis of Tolu, or uh, Yulis of Tolu, I think is how you pronounce it. They're strength rank 1 with 16 settlements. So they must be going ham against the 
uh, Khorezmian Empire and all of the Eastern Empires that are in the South. Uh, we are at war with this uh, Noge Horde as well. Looks like a sub-faction that has sprung up from the Mongol Hordes. Uh, but uh, their strength rank is 60. They're quite weak. In fact, I think most of their strength right here, including their king, I believe that's their king. Uh, ooh, they're they're taking. Uh, yeah, they're not getting any replenishment, but they've got an eight stack and then a seven stack, so they could go after uh, Baku here. Uh, it's got a pretty solid garrison, plus they have their army there. But I'm really hoping they send their army over to Batu. Uh, they've got. Uh, what is that? An eight stack? Four, four, three, six, seven, eight, ten stack there. Uh, so, yeah, I've got some good troops that I'm starting to build up here. I might actually uh, disband this general once uh, the king can take control of his army once again. Uh, and then we will be able to get uh, a few good troops here. We can get some early period cavalry. We've just got the manpower here, which is fantastic. So maybe one more spear and then if we could get four swords and two archers. But again, high dreaming, considering we're still in the red. We also have uh, Bill Gorod as well. We got that bee farm in there, which is fantastic. That means we're going to have some more uh, tradable goods. So we got beeswax, we have grain, and we have wine. And we're going to have gold after this, which is going to be fantastic. That should, I think that does give us gold as a tradable resource. Oh, maybe it doesn't, actually. Is that... Surely. Is that not a tradable resource? Uh, maybe it is not. Yeah, okay, never mind. Well, that will, uh, as I said, give us quite a bit of uh, income. If we go in now, it is pretty even, but I think we're waiting at least one more turn to get... Uh, those towers and then we should be able to move in I would say uh, their wall strength is quite strong we've got quite a few archers they also do but they're taking attrition which is fantastic and oh, it's been so long since I played Total War I almost clicked that instead we of continue the siege <laughs> that would have been a very unfortunate start to this campaign but yeah, not really going into any long-term goals right now I would just like to uh, regain my foothold here uh, get Bata and then I would I would love to possibly take some of the Trebizond territories because I think that the Latin Empire is still going to be a bit too strong for us, but we'll see how it goes. Of course, I am extremely lucky that the mod hasn't updated uh, too much since my absence. Uh, this is actually still working for us, which is fantastic. And if this episode seems to be a bit uh, more laggy than previous episodes, I do apologize. Um, I think my computer does need to go through several Windows updates because, as I said, I haven't been on my PC in quite some time. Uh, so I'll probably have to uh, readjust all of my settings and uh, optimize my games uh, again. Uh, okay, so the Latin Empire definitely flexing their strength at me over here. They've got two and a half stacks. Are they friendly with me, or... Uh, they're kind of neutral with me. That is fine. They don't like the Trespassers, but they do like the war with the Bulgarian Zardom. Uh, we could try and see if we could maybe get a non-aggression pact with them for now. Oh, not quite. I could give my daughter away in exchange for a non-aggression pact. She is sharp-tongued. Uh, let's just leave that for now. And in fact, before we jump into this battle, which they should have taken even more attrition, uh, let's take a look at here, because I haven't looked at this in quite some time. Um, so we do have a son of our king, which is fantastic. We could actually try and marry her off. Uh, are there any eligible generals? There are. So we could actually get this general into our family. That would be fantastic. 
Yeah, let's see if that's successful. And if it's not successful, then uh, we'll marry her off and see if they'll accept non-aggression. Uh, let's also declare him as our heir. I don't know if that will strengthen us at all, but our dominion and our uh, power is so weak at the moment. It is quite unfortunate. Uh, this guy, he does have a bit of wavering loyalty just because our king has been battered and bruised. But can you really blame him? The Mongol hordes pretty much stripped everything away from this man, and he is clawing back. Uh, he will definitely regain the honor of Georgia here. In fact, can we just... Uh, let's just get you over here. Uh, okay, we've got... You here. You've got a good amount of authority, which is fantastic. Um... Integrity, change return, minus five, Char character faction and politics. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Uh, is there anything that will help with integrity? Integrity plus one is here. Uh, upkeep is good for armies. Uh, oh, way up here there's extra, extra integrity, but we're not going to be there anytime soon. So, uh, yeah, I guess going into zeal and then integrity plus one, that will... Oh, that did actually help quite a bit. Nice. Good, okay. Um, I wonder what Mr. King's... Uh, <laughs> his own integrity is going down by three per turn. That's a confident man. Oh, boy, okay. Yeah, well, we're going to have to start getting him... Getting him some experience here. That is for sure. His wife here. She's arrogant. Oh, boy. All right, but she has produced an heir, which is what we need. And we just need this guy to get five influence, then we'll be able to get him a wife. But that is enough talking for now. Let's go ahead and dive into this battle and hope I don't make an absolute fool of myself. Oh, nice. We're actually bringing in some Latin Empire reinforcements. Pike spam and crossbows. I do appreciate that. Let's get the quick save real quick. Just in case it does crash, I'm hoping that it does not, but I will see you guys on the battlefield. Alright guys, welcome to the battlefield, and it does feel nice to have the Kingdom of Georgia on the battlefield once again. But well, this isn't going to be a walk in the park. As you can see, the final Bulgarian city is pretty well defended. They've got high walls, strong towers, and just over a thousand men for its garrison. Thankfully, though, we do have the Latin Empire coming in to aid us. Now, unfortunately, we did have a crash in the first time I tried to record this battle. Something, I think, bugged out with this gate uh, where... We were capturing it, but then it wasn't captured, and then the game ended up crashing. So I'm going to try my best not to capture that gate and see if that was the issue. Again, it has been quite some time since I've uh, tried to play this campaign, so I don't know if maybe there have been some smaller updates that may affect the performance of the campaign, but I'm really hoping that's not the case. Uh, but we'll give it another shot and see how it goes. Now, I do have some cheap spears, so I'm going to move the cheap spears up first. Hopefully, they'll draw the eye of the towers. And then I've got these archers here. Two of them actually have gold chevrons. That is awesome to see. Let's move our archers up. And then I've got these two archers as well, the Svanian hunters. I would love to see if I could maybe get them on the flanks here. Uh, they do have most of their archers on the walls, and they've got the Despot Spearmen, which are going to be holding the gate. And what a sight to behold there. That looks beautiful. I do love the Bulgarians in their uniforms with their shields. Very, very cool units there. And the archers as well. They're forming up, getting ready to hold. More archers moving, kind of redeploying as they see our siege towers moving forwards. One thing that I did actually notice is that our our army here is actually quite spear-focused. We only have two units of melee infantry in this entire army. Uh, so we will look to try and balance that out a little bit better. Probably get rid of these two Cartlian spears and then replace them with the uh, Tieli swordsmen. But is this most of their troops here? I think that it is. Looks like we do have some more militia archers moving forwards. Their uh, general's bodyguard is probably holding out in the town center. 
and the Latin Empire arriving with their pikes and crossbows. Now, they're not going to be super effective from the get-go. Ooh, there's some Boyar cavalry there. Yeah, they're not going to be super effective from the get-go. They need to establish a foothold in the city and then be able to form up their pikes uh, in the city streets. Uh, fighting hand-to-hand -hand on the walls isn't really where you want your pikemen to be. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, begin by showering this uh, center here with uh, our archers. In fact, I'm going to take two and maybe move them over to this side if I can. And then have these two here in front to be able to fire up and over. Are they getting any good shots or not? Let's go ahead and see what they're looking at. No, that's an awful position. Uh, let's just try and fire at the levy spearmen that are uh, down below then. And we're just getting our troops moving off the siege towers now. It looks like we do have some of the uh, spears from Bulgaria ready to hold. No, never mind. They were retreating back to the center of the gatehouse there. Uh, we do have some archers here, but I am going to catch those with my swordsmen as well, which is excellent. Yeah, just keep firing, boys. Just laying down the suppression for now. Got more siege towers moving over to this side with some of my uh, more elite and more heavily armored spearmen. So they'll be able to push in from the other side. Unfortunately, I do not have any siege equipment at this point. S or, sorry, yeah, I don't have any... Oh gosh, it's been a while since I played. What is it called? Siege engines? I don't know, like catapults and stuff? Artillery, that's what I was thinking of. Uh, unfortunately, don't have any artillery to put holes in the walls or to take down any of these towers. Uh, so we're going to have to make do with brute force for the time being. Did we shatter these archers already? We did. That is fantastic news. Uh, let's actually move these spearmen down here so we can capture this tower. And it might actually draw the ire of those boyars. Pull them away from the gatehouse. Oh, yes. Good. Capture those archers there. Well done. That's some good heavy hitting there. You guys focus on these axemen that are running around in the streets below. Yeah, and you guys, uh, if you can fire through that gate, I don't know if that's... You're able to do that, but... Yeah, it looks like we are able to fire right through the gate, so we will be doing that then. Come on, boys, you're capturing this tower. I hope that doesn't glitch anything either. Capturing the tower like that. Guess we'll find out. But yeah, I don't want to capture this gatehouse, because the one tower was destroyed, and then the other tower was still standing. Uh, let's push in with the one, if we can. Where is this? Oh, no, no, no. Um, do I want them to go up there? I guess it couldn't hurt, so that's fine. If they're going to make it up there or not. Looks like they're trying to, so... Good, these spearmen can hit from this side. We're getting more spearmen pouring into the midst here. Of these Bulgarians, we've got the Latin crossbows moving forward. So you can see the pikemen there on the ground as well. They're waiting for their turn to get up onto the walls, which is fantastic. And where are you guys going? Yeah, I've got to keep a close eye on my archers because they kind of tend to... Oh, no! That's not what I wanted to happen! Oh, dear! I made a huge mistake there. I looked away for a one minute and those Boyer Lancers got an excellent charge on my swordsmen. Oh, that's not what I wanted to happen. That is very unfortunate. Oh, please hold, swords. Please hold. Got some pikemen now on the ground. Oh, I've seen some more Boyer Lancers moving in. Let's actually try and get one of the spears off the walls. There, they're starting to waver. Come on, hold, hold, men, hold. Oh, they're dying pretty quickly. Oh, that's not what I want to see. Come on, swords. Get off the walls. Get after these boyars. Yeah, see, they're going to charge after two of them. That is fine. Yeah, they charged in. Now let's get all of my troops down there to try and pin them. See, we're capturing this gatehouse, so I don't know if I want that to happen. Good, though. Okay, I do have some archers on the walls. Fire into the backs of these boyars. Do you guys have an angle on that? Can you fire on that, please? Save your comrades from a certain death. Come on, get into position, boys. Come on. 
I'm surprised these guys aren't wavering yet. Okay, see what you guys can do with the damage there. Okay, we're not capturing that gatehouse. That is good. I don't want to do that. Let's get you guys down. You guys can come over here. I don't want to go over there. We'll just let uh, them do their thing here. Just keep firing down at them with the archers. That is fine. All three of these archers just keep focusing fire. Actually, if we could put fire arrows on there. Okay, see that happened? Okay, I hope it doesn't crash. Because I think that gatehouse bugged out there again. Uh, if that is the case, we may need to just auto-resolve this, but I'm really hoping that it's not the case. Okay, you guys have to protect our archers. They're getting into combat here. We're trying to fire onto the backs of that Bul uh, Bulgarian cavalry, but now, now our archers are kind of stuck in melee. Man, they are chewing through my one of my two units here. That is not good. Not good at all. Okay, you can't even get off the uh, tower here anymore. Okay, good. So most of them are broken. So that's good. Okay, come off the walls. Come off the walls. Uh, you guys stay there. I meant you guys come off the walls. Save your brethren. Oh, man. Those boyars just annihilated our men. That, that really sucks. Yeah, we've lost we've lost a few in this siege. Definitely have. Oh gosh, that sucks. Okay, get back on the walls, boyars. Don't don't engage them anymore. Just fire down at them. You guys fire down at them if you can. Okay, we've got some Latin Empire troops uh, moving forwards, which is good. Uh, let's just get all of our men over here if we can. Just to utilize this uh, port. Okay, so they are they are actually thinking about going after the Latin Empire. That is absolutely fine. And I've got some more archers that are coming on here onto the walls. Good. Yes, fire down onto these boys. These murderers of the Georgian infantry. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that fire arrow damage too. Very nice. Very nice. Um, since we are capturing this, though, you're going to have to be a little bit careful. Let's move over a bit more. And then fire on those militia archers there. They did charge into the crossbowmen, but they are heavily depleted at this point, which is great. Uh, the only downside about this now is that I don't have any cavalry, really, that I can get into the city here. Uh, to deal with that general's bodyguard, but it does look like we made it farther than last last round. Uh, did crash by this point, I believe. So, okay, let's move our two units that are inside the settlement in. Um, I could try and get some more troops up onto the walls, see if that works. But yeah, the cavalry are kind of out of it for now. Oh, weirdly, now we are kind of starting to capture it a bit. That's strange. Yeah, see, we, uh, one of them is broken on this side, too, so I think it is a bug with the gatehouses, uh, which is interesting. I'll have to ask Azrian about that and see what he thinks. Um, as long as it really doesn't affect uh, the actual game, or the campaign, I should say, then we should be fine. Okay, you guys stop firing. You guys move off the walls. You guys move off the walls. Got some troops coming up, and victory is ours! Fantastic! And I'm going to end it there before I experience any more crashing, so I will see you guys back on the campaign map. Alright guys, so not too bad. Uh, thankfully, my Tele Swordsman did hang on in spite of my big blunder there. <laughs> you guys can probably tell how rusty I am. At a 12 12. Unfortunately, these brave Georgian spearmen here, 162 kills, but they did fall on the walls. Uh, taking a look at anything else, 126 for them, which is good. Uh, archers, uh, 80 kills there, that's not too bad, but. Oh, 251 with those swords, very nice. So, yeah, well done to those spearmen you built, will be remembered.
Uh, looking at the Latin Empire, they did suffer some casualties, but not too much. And that is Bulgaria wiped out. So, uh, would be nice to sack, but we're going to... I think we're going to loot and occupy. Because that 6k will be useful, and we can deal with the conquest penalty and the instability. Uh, it's just minus 20 instead of minus 5. Ready for battle. And that should be... Bulgaria destroyed? Yes, it is. Fantastic. Enemy killed in battle. Settlement occupied. Uh, oh, good. They are mobilizing against that. That's fantastic. Good, good, good. And look at that. Our income immediately a hundred times better there. That is fantastic. Now, yes, they are unhappy with that. All of these should repair on their own. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it at that. I don't know, though, if you have damaged buildings, if that affects it. Might be because of the devastation, but that could also be because of the Bulgarian rebels. Uh, religious instability. Bogomilist Christianity. That's interesting. Uh, we still have 67% Orthodox, though, which is great. Uh, the fairground. Yeah, that's going to help us out quite a bit. I don't know if there's anything else I really would have wanted in here anyways. Uh, the research rate does help, but not at the cost of that food consumption. Uh, it's only average here, too, so maybe getting the um, iconography studio wouldn't be a good shout here. But yeah, that gold mine is awesome. Actually, the tavern could be good. Getting the tavern in here at the cost of food once again. But we'll see how it goes. So, good. So they should be happy with us, the uh, Latin Empire, for... Destroying that. We are, as always, a Destroying the Bulgarians. Uh, they still don't want to have non-aggression with us, though. That is fine. They've come all the way down to Thessalonica here. So, yeah, they've got quite a bit of territory that we uh, wanted initially for our uh, conquest goals, which, of course, is Asia Minor and, I believe, uh, Greece, uh, plus uh, the original territories of the Kingdom of Georgia. Um... So what do we got down here? Who's this coming in? Conant of Kazan. Okay. They're kind of sneaking around over here. Uh, we already moved him, which is good. I think we're st actually still on the first turn, are we? Or no, no, we did do one turn, end turn. But yeah, we want to uh, get a few troops together so that we can take Bata back. But we'll see, we'll see what these guys do. I mean, if I don't need extra troops over there, I can definitely afford to invest it into my territories. Uh, let's get the Icon Maker for sure, now that we can afford that. And we have the Orthodox Skete here. Which I think initially we were trying to get it to help out with the uh, issue with sanitation. But we'll put that in there. We've got level 2 fields for both of them. We've got good amount of food. Bilgorod, we can't build anything just yet. How about at Tbilisi? What's, uh... Okay, it's only good here. So yeah, having the... Skete for sanitation is good as well. Uh, would be nice to change that over, though. Oh, we've got the winery. That's extremely expensive to upgrade. Uh, I was looking at maybe getting the sheep herd in here, because that would give us a bit of wealth, or the cattle herd. Because we do have a good amount of food here already, I think, because of, yeah, this winery. But we'll leave it for now. Leave it for now, and we'll take a look back here. Uh, is there anything that we don't need? Uh, sanitation isn't the best here, so I could repair that. And actually, can I get any troops here? Oh, we can get a lot of good troops here. Look at this, the Tazerili swordsmen we can even get. Uh, we're not going to, though, because that will actually cripple our economy. But I can't afford to get two of these guys, I would say. So that's 125, that's 164. So if we uh, disband these two and get those two in, uh, we're going to get the extra 300 income for two turns, which will actually... It will pay for one of them, which is pretty nice. Oh, look at this. Look at this. A lot of good... A lot of good troops to be recruited from here. That is excellent, especially when we go up against uh, the Latin Empire. Looks like they still have a lot of early period troops. Actually, a cavalry-heavy army would be good 
when dealing with all of those crossbows. But as I said, I want to try and remain friendly with them for now. That is plus one there. And we're still waiting seven more turns before we can uh, annex our vassal. So I guess we can just save our money for now, because everything else is pretty hunky-dory here. I do want to get Bata, though, so we'll see what my ally does here. And Provincial Governor, if I, if I put you in a state of government, I, actually, I don't really even want to do that, because he's so unloyal. This guy's loyal. Could put him in. Uh... Good. Oh, can I put one in there as well? Uh, let's see. Unit experience. Uh, I just don't know about this guy. He does have a lot of influence, and our leader really does not have that much influence at all. I mean, I could try and gather some support... But that will cost a lot of influence points, and I really don't want to do that. We're still waiting for him to get enough as well. Uh, for the Edict in Scopey... Public order is not great. Uh, do we have anything that costs maintenance at the moment? No, we don't. So we don't have to worry about that. Wealth from Commerce. Is this... That's Wealth from Industry. Industry. There is something Wealth from Industry... Uh, there's not. Minus 20% recruitment cost for cavalry is definitely useful. Are we getting wealth from commerce here? Yeah, we are. So, okay. Let's put that in. And then I guess it will help when we do decide to recruit our cavalry. And we'll just ignore that for now. Good, good, good. Well, I am happy with the progress that we've made in today's episode. Uh, once we get back to the... Or once we get back uh, to the next turn, um, I'll take a quick look at the political situation. And if uh, we haven't been able to get a suitor for our uh, leader's sister, then we will look to try and... Uh, buy her off for a not aggression pact. Uh, let's do balance on that. Destroy those pretenders. And kill. We're having some trouble with integrity as it is. Uh, yep, that's fine. Faction destroyed. Noble marriage! Huzzah! Excellent. So we've brought in our general into the fold here. I uh, shot the mad. Very nice. Yeah, and he has a lot of influence as well. And he's quite loyal, which is fantastic. And, and now he can seek a wife, which is great. We have another son here. So we have an heir and a spare. <laughs> and we have two sons here. Via Rusadan. Very good. Good. And actually, if we take a look at the uh, political situation here. You're in there. That's... Yeah, let's put you up there. Give you a promotion. That will probably make other people mad. Uh, but he can go into there. You are a governor. So we'll move you up to there. Who's this? Oh, he's he's not even a governor, and he has that uh, st that position. Uh, let's get you up there as well. And then you're already there. And then we have you as a governor. Are you even in a position here? I don't think you are. So we can put you in for that as well. There, no, no, we, we want you over here because you're a governor. Yes. And that means everybody is pretty much in a post. Very good. 
1400 income things are looking up for Georgia oh yes well done uh, now hopefully I would like to actually grab uh, Epirus here I, I'm probably gonna send my priest down uh, to take a look at the strength that they have hopefully oh man okay he was really helping out the public order there uh, if needed, we will send that back. Uh, sanitation has decided to take a turn for the worse, so when we can uh, get surplus there, we will put in the fountains, of course. We've sorted this out, and there's no more plague here, which is great. I think I am going to switch that for the iconography studio, though. I think I'm going to do it. And no, no meat market there, sir. Uh, so they they pulled back, did they? Okay. Oh, they captured Ardabil. Uh, so maybe they're going after that. I'm not 100% sure. Anyways, let us... Take this army from you. And you, sir, Kixoro. Kixoro. Which one are you? Er... Wait, are you... No. Oh, you're up here, General. Oh, it's one of my most loyal generals, is it? Okay. Uh, I would like to disband him, but I guess we can keep him for now. Put him out get like so. Up. There we go. So get that up and, up and moving. The integrity, that is. And... Uh, Oh, yes, because it's winter. You jump into there. To it, men. And you're plus two. Nice. Are you ready to Let's get one of you. We're going to need some archers here. Come fight with us. So that'll be seven, eight. I can't see that. I can't remember if it was an eight stack or a ten stack that they had. Your command. Uh... Yeah, I can only get the three this turn anyways. Good. Okay, well, I, if they're not going to deal with uh, Batu over there, if they could go after Artabil, that would be fantastic. Let's see if they would be interested in that. Let's give them a coordination target, Artabil. Uh, I'm not super worried about this. It's only a five stack, so they can't... I don't think they'll be able to take... Oh, crap. It, <laughs> it only has one general there. Hmm. Oh, boy. That's not good. Okay, maybe they will actually take that then. Uh, we'll have to see how it goes. But I think that is where we are going to leave it today. Let's just quickly give some more upgrades here to our general. Uh, let's give him... More cunning would be good. We already maxed that cunning, so let's do zeal and then extra integrity. And leave it there. So, uh, usually, uh, well, I should say previously, I used to upload the... Kingdom of Georgia campaign and the Hannibal campaign in Ancient Empires on the same day. That probably won't be happening for this foreseeable future. I do have a little bit of free time at this point, but I don't have enough that I can be doing two videos a day. And I actually haven't even checked to see if that campaign is still working. So I will look into that and possibly have the Ancient Empires campaign out the following day. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's episode and the return of the Kingdom of Georgia campaign to the channel. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And as always, I will see you in the next one.